Hello my friends, have you ever used activated carbon or secum purigen? Welcome to PSK Aqua. There's already a video on the channel about these two products, which I link here and in the description. But I decided to bring it up again because it's a topic that a lot of people are interested in. I got the flu today, but I still make this video anyway. Here we go. Chemical filtration. One of the types of filtration in our aquariums. As you know, there's mechanical filtration, biological filtration and optional chemical filtration. Optional? What do you mean? Isn't this type of filtration required? No. If you don't want chemical filtration, you don't have to. You don't need to use activated carbon or a resin like Purigen. But do you know the difference between them? I don't get how people don't know this. Isn't it all the same? Don't both remove stuff from the water? Ah, Rick, I get what you're saying, but that's not exactly the same. Let me explain. We'll go through each one in detail. You'll see there's more different than you think. Let's start with the basics. Activated carbon is a very porous material, usually made from charcoal, coconut shell, or even wood. And Rick, its secrets is in the pores. In the pores? So we're talking about activated carbon with acne? No, Rick. Those pores are tiny spaces where the carbon can trap substances. It works uh, through a process uh, called adsorption, which means it attracts organic particles and impurities from the water holding home to them. Ah, so it's like a magnet that pulls in all the dirt? That's it. It's really effective at removing odors, chlorine and some heavy metals and, of course, substances that make uh, water yellowish. So, if it makes the water super clear, why did people invent Purigen? Good question, Rick, but let's take it step by step. But before I explain, let me remind you a simple action from you, like hitting the like button or leaving a comment helps our channel get seen more by the YouTube algorithm. It costs you nothing, right? Give us that small, big gesture. Thank you very much. But back to the explanation. Activated carbon is great at removing general contaminants, but is very aggressive at removing components from the water. It's like a blind magnet that grabs everything, good and bad. With activated carbon, almost everything is taken out. So if it removes everything, why use it? It's good at what it does, and it's uh, relatively cheap. The problem is that it saturates quickly, and when that happens, guess what? It starts dumping all the dirt back? Like, be free impurities, go back to the water. Kinda. Uh, it doesn't release everything, but it stops working effectively and needs to be replaced. Depending on usage, activated carbon may last only a few weeks. After that, it's just taking up space. Alright, now explain Purigen. And try not to get to technical. I really want to understand this. Add it, Rick. Purigen is a synthetic resin designed to absorb dissolved organic matter. This matter causes uh, yellowing uh, of the water, creating uh, compounds that can be toxic over time and generally makes the water less clear. So, it's like carbon, but fancier. But instead of coming from coconut, it comes from a lab? Not exactly. Purigen is much more efficient than uh, activated carbon at removing organic compounds. It doesn't get saturated as quickly which means it lasts a lot longer. And more of the best parts is that Purigen can be regenerated. Regenerated? Wait, are you saying it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes? Or like me, when I have a tantrum and have to calm down? <laughs> sort of. When Purigen is saturated, you just soak it in bleach and water solution, about 50% each, for a few hours. Then you rinse it well and it's as good as new. You can reuse it multiple times. So, why would anyone use activated carbon if Purigen can rise from the ashes? 
well-activated carbon is cheaper and for certain uses is enough. Pyrogen is more expensive, but in the long run it's worth it because it lasts much longer and can be regenerated. All right, let's get to the exact differences. Like a clear black and white comparison. Great, let's go. First difference, lifespan. Activated carbon saturates quickly, while pyrogen lasts much longer and can be regenerated. Ah, so one lasts weeks, and the other, well, forever. <laughs> Not forever, but almost. Another difference is what each one removes. Carbon is better at removing chlorine, heavy metals and medication after treatment, which is the only use I have with for it and recommend. And Purigen? How's it different? Don, I was getting to that. Purigen focuses uh, on absorbing organic compounds, which helps control toxic compounds like ammonia, nitrates and nitrates. And also clear the water by removing tea color caused by the wood tannins which makes the water yellowish. Wait, so if I have tea-colored water, pyrogen is better? Exactly. Uh, for tanks with a lot of organic matter like plants, wood or certain fish that produce more waste, pyrogen is amazing for keeping the water crystal clear. And what if I want to use both? Can I mix them? Good question, Rick. Yes, many acrists use both. Activated carbon remove roger uh, contaminants and Purgen de deals with the fine particles and uh, dissolve organic matter, so you get the best of both worlds. But I don't recommend using activated carbon uh, for more than four or five days straight. It doesn't make sense to keep something in the tank that removes beneficial compounds for fish and plants. For plants too? What does activated carbon do to plants? Directly nothing, but if you have uh, fertilizers to the water, the activated carbon will remove them. So, for planted tanks, using activated carbon is a bit contradictory. Yeah, that makes sense. Using fertilizers and having something in the filter that removes them is like throwing money away. Exactly. And Purigen doesn't do that. No, Purigen doesn't remove fertilizers, which is great for planted tanks. And how do you store them? Do you put them in bags? Yes, I have to put it in bags, but as the carbon is thicker, I can put it in mesh bags, like this one. But Purigen, if it comes in prepared uh, sackets, you don't have to do anything. But if it comes in bottles, like this, you have to use bags of 180 microns or less, like this. I gotta admit, I'm curious about this regeneration process. But isn't that bleach dangerous for the fish? Good question. Purigen starts white and turn brown when it's saturated, so you'll know when it needs regenerating, unlike activated carbon, when you can tell. After regenerating, Purigen rinse it very well and ideally soak it in dechlorinator before putting it uh, back in the tank. If you do it right, it's safe for the fish. Okay. But that sounds like extra work. I'm not sure people will have the patience for that. True. It doesn't take extra effort. But for those who want crystal clear water and don't mind regenerating Purigen every 2-3 months, it's worth it. Let's summarize so nobody gets lost. If you want a filter to remove odors, chlorine, heavy metals and medication, activated carbon is simple and cheap. Ideal for those who change filter cartridge regularly and want simplicity. But if you're a crystal clear water perfectionist and have time to regenerate, then Purigen is the king. Exactly, Rick. Purigen is great for anyone wanting a tank without even a hint of yellowing, especially in planted tanks or tanks with wood. Plus, it's budget friendly in the long term. Look, I gotta admit, I learned a thing or two today. Maybe Purigen isn't just another fancy product. <laughs> exactly, Ray. Now I hope everyone watching has a better understanding of the differences. Comment below which one you prefer, Purigen or activated carbon, or both. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, 
and turn on notifications. Thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Now I'm going to care of my flu. Bye. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.